here in the red. Our Zerg player, easily the greatest Zerg in StarCraft 2 of all time. I am this team. And now to our blue Terran. Everybody, oh. I am MVP. Everybody's been saying he's the favorite for the tournament backstage here. But so far against Simon ST, it doesn't seem to be the case. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I am fairly certain that that was the first Terran versus Zerg that I'm MVP has lost in a tournament since Hydra took a game on Seps War off of him in season three. Yeah, I think that's correct. So that is actually a long streak, because he's not just playing the GSL. There are little other tournaments over here. In fact, he went, what was it, 10-0 in the the Race Wars tournament, I believe. MVP just kind of like all killed everyone. So if I'm uh, recalling these stats all right, uh, it's actually like a gigantic win for uh, little Mr. Nesty, Professor Nesty of the Zerg Academy of Fine Arts. <laughs> <laughs> PhD. That's right. Nesty gonna go with Hatch first, mixing it up. Now these locations, I think, do favor Terran. Uh, yeah. Especially mid-game. You know, Mid-game is actually hell for Zerg. The strong pushes you can do through uh, the little choke area, very, very difficult to deal with. As we saw, you know, Hydra versus Jinra on here. Jinra just pushed through there so beautifully, and it was quite hard for Hydra. Now, there are some ways that Zerg can counteract that a little bit. Looks like I think he did see uh, his overlord there, by the way. Um, there are some ways, though, to counteract that somewhat. You do things like expand far away from your opponent. Don't put all your tech structures in your main base. That'll make you have them longer. Don't put an extra hatchery there. Uh, you know, get your drones out in time. Make your layer at your natural instead of your main base. There's a lot of little tiny things that you can do to try to counteract oh. that push that may come later. Looks like we have a not an all-in bunker rush, but one to kind of force the Zerg to panic. Sometimes Zergs overcompensate. These Nesty kind of rushes. Nesty never overcompensates. No. Nesty is very confident in himself. Nesty is basically the chosen one. Uh oh. Nesty is never going to have a midlife crisis face. No. He will never be driving a Porsche for any yeah, reason gonna be other like, than he's won too much money. That's right. No midlife crisis for Nesty. No. You know why, Artosis? Because he's doing what he wants to do and being who he wants to be. And that's Being Nesty. a pro gamer. Everybody was like, Nesty. You shouldn't be a StarCraft 2 pro gamer. You weren't as good in StarCraft 1. He's like, LOL, and then just won $87,000. Yeah. Giggled all the way to the bank. That's the way to do it, man. I love giggling all the way to the bank. <laughs> money won, Tasis, is twice as sweet as money earned. But you know well what? Said. All the money that Nesty wins, he sure as heck earned. No kidding. That Talk makes about an amazing, three times amazing sweet. story, really. <laughs> yeah. Nesty actually. I am MVP as well. They're both very, very charming guys, but Nesty, I just, oh, hold that thought. I was going to say, he's a spe especially friendly man. guy. Yeah. Ooh, a very fast third base. This is I love a it. super duper cool strategy. Yeah. Uh, and here's why. When you actually take a third this fast, what Nesty's basically going to do here is drone like there's no tomorrow. As if tomorrow doesn't exist, Tasteless. There's no Monday in Korea. Just this last Sunday. Just make drones. <laughs> the until last the cows day come of the home. world is. is <laughs> That's is right. Sunday. And he's going to make enough drones to buy a spaceship to get out of here. Okay. There you go. That's how many minerals this guy's going to Those buying. aren't cheap. No. And he is actually just droning up insanely right now. He's already up 20, 30 drones against just 22 SCVs. And he's. It's a, it's a little bit of a gamble. Absolutely. There's no question there. But he knows, you know, these positions, it's going to be pretty hard. Uh, he may delay his attack because he can do such a strong attack through the back there. But if Nest T has three full bases running at the time that I'm MVP has just two full bases running, his economy is going to be way far ahead, and he's going to actually be able to do a really good job, especially when we see, oh, man, this is actually just all working perfectly because I'm MVP has gotten no add-ons on his barracks. He's teching up quickly while working on his economy. So I'm ST is completely fine doing this. This is it's just this is beautiful play by Nesty here. Just such a smart move to do. You know to be honest, I have a confession, viewers in Artosis. Yes. I genuinely thought it was gonna be a 3-0 for MVP today. Well that I'm is, already totally wrong. 
You are completely wrong. In Do fact. you forgive me? Uh, of course I forgive you, Tasteless. I'm MVP is so scary. Everyone agrees on that. But uh, Nest T is fearsome. Oh, I'm no, MVP fearsome. may be scary, but Nest T is fearsome. Would you dare use the word ferocious? Oh, my. Tasteless. I would say actually that's MVP. MVP is ferocious, but I'm Nest T is fearsome. That's right. <laughs> I'm MVP that's all is. I got. Is a lion, but Nesty is a hyena, a giraffe, and a hippopotamus. Wow, he is everything tasty. You might as well just put hippo on there. I did, did we, say did we nickname one of these players the hippo? I don't know, because you know hippo is a deadly animal. It is indeed. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. MVP is the hippo turn. <laughs> That's terrible. He's so skinny and small. No, here's the thing: is hippos kill more people than any other animal in the world. Yeah. I think I said this in a previous cast. Yeah. I think this is a glitch in the matrix, and I'm repeating myself. You are. But You're no, you, that's okay. You're getting people, old. People see, I'm getting old now. Dementia. I'm getting dementia. <laughs> I, uh, no, you, people think, oh, it's a hippo. They get close to him in the water and stuff. You know, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's a cute little hippo. I'm gonna pet him, and then the hippo's like, ah, it opens its mouth up, and its tooth is the size of a coke can, and you're like, oh god. That's right. And that's MVP. All right. The hippo Terran. Sounds about right. Yeah, I'm uh, dead on. Now this Banshee coming out. Try to do some controlling, but a Spore look Crawler at, is look out. Look at that perfect timing with the Spore Crawler. Yeah. As it arrives, second queen on the way. Banshee going to do absolutely nothing. Right now the drone count is at 56 compared to just 40 SCVs. And uh, Stim is one-fourth done for I'm MVP. He so. has uh, stacked upgrades for the Stim and the Combat Shell, so he's yeah. not going to be attacking anytime soon. That's right, Baneling speed on the way. Creep is out into the middle of the map. And he's the best thing. That, I mean, Nesty is actually playing so well. I wish I could pause this and just tell you guys every single amazing thing that Nesty is doing right now. Look at your mini map. Notice Creep going through that little back path all the way. That is so it's going to take him longer to build turrets and depots and bunkers and whatever he wants to build down there. It's going to take a lot longer. It's going to cost him scans. It is just a beautiful, beautiful move by Nesty. He's just rigging everything into his favor. Yeah, this is quite brilliant. Spire almost complete. Now, here's going to be the telling moment. Is will MVP go in there and manhandle him uh, with his push towards the main? Also note, he uh, seemed to be very comfortable keeping some of his tech in his main as well, so that's going to be pivotal. Now, it looks like Nesty may be thinking about a counterattack relatively soon here. Might want to bust down some bunkers with even Banelings just to slow down the production by MVP because right now, Nesty has a big lead. He's taking the top right base. It's going to be his fourth base while uh, MVP is on two. And uh, supply-wise, we have 132 for Nesty, 94 for I'm MVP. You're not going to find a better macro Terran than I'm MVP, but yet he is getting way out supplied because of that quick third base. Okay, it's coming. Note the aggressive uh, creep spread towards the Terrans. Potential attacking points here. I'm ST, I guarantee he was not feeling that comfortable right now. Pushing like he would against any other no, Zerg. No, absolutely. This is a scary situation for him, Tasteless. And ST, look at that. He just wants to slow it down. He's building a lot of spine crawlers just to slow. Probably would want to start rebuilding his tech elsewhere. Nice dodge there. You know, forcing a stim. Nesty so far has played an almost flawless game here. It, only if he had his tech, maybe it is natural instead. Could it be any better? And look at that, cutting off reinforcements with his mutilus. This is this is like artwork, tasteless. This is That's absolutely beautiful. 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 A, I, I mean, I used to get this feeling a lot at top level StarCraft One. In, in StarCraft Two, already this early in the game, I am getting this tasteless. He wants to force another stim. A little bit of miss micro there by MST, taking too many shots. Yep. The reinforcements are almost there. MST is actually banking on just holding the Terrence push and eating up the map. And notice the unique push style. He doesn't break the rocks down. Very deliberate way to push here. Yeah. And notice that MST just uh, deals with the Marines that come up there. The spine crawler is going to slow everything way down. He's making a ridiculous amount of units, Zerglings, Banelings. Uh, you know, he does have that top right base. Not a lot of drones at it yet. I and love it. He keeps cutting off the reinforcements. It's just, it is a sight to behold, Tasteless. Nesty taking out Marines, taking out the missile turrets, and I'm MVP oh. even having to come back right now. Losing two mutas there. Yeah. But 
But he is holding him off. He's slowing him down. He's making more and more banelings. That's why his supply has slowed down a little bit. He's only at 161 against 130 of MVP. And MVP has decided Tasteless. He has 2-2 upgrades, so that is pretty sick. It is time for him to push through. ST may even want to, you know, turn around and maybe just go do a counterattack, let his main die, but I don't think that's his plan, obviously. He has a lot of units sitting here waiting. Here comes some Banelings! Goodbye, well, Marines. That well, was pretty straightforward. That was a man mistake I, in Micro right I there. Think, I think I'm ST is about to lose. I don't think he actually has enough to take on this push. Oh, I think he does. I, I have a different sip of opinion here, Tasteless. I think Nesty he, he, can take this out. No, 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 that's what I'm saying is I think oh. MVP is about to lose. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, no, I, he's silly I guy. think so. I think so, Tasteless. He's doing a great job of just holding. Uh, I'm Nesty has a great job of holding his position. Yeah, and he just keeps on cutting off reinforcements. It's so beautiful to see that. He's killing more and more Marines with those Mews. Yeah, sacrificing some, but he's getting his economy up at different bases. And oh, he's going to go for the Spire here. That'll trigger the Assault. And here we go! A ton of Zerglings and Banelings going through. Beautiful tank on the ramp, slowing everything down. Whoa! All he nice. has to do is take out this entire army. Can he do it? Oh yes, my he can! God. Whoa! Tasteless! Damn! When this T kills your army, he takes it all the way back home. Unbelievable. Even taking out Medivax as they retreat with those Mutalisks. He has lost his Spire, unfortunately. That's okay, though. We'll have to see if he can do this, Tasteless. It's still uh -oh. getting pretty hard. Actually, These two, two Marines are doing a great job. Nest, he spent yeah. a ton of resources taking that out. He does have a good economy still, but he's losing a lot of his tech buildings, unfortunately. Nest, he is in a difficult situation all of a sudden. MVP is actually much more uh, resilient than we thought. He's pushing now. Now the, the, the focal point here is the fact that the Zerg might lose the layer. Yeah, he's already lost the spire. He may lose the layer as well. In fact, he's rebuilding the spire and the spawning pool. It's natural, which are going to be taken out shortly thereafter. Not, not a good location to take yeah. that. Slight mistake there. Should be building him at the other bases that are further away. Going to take longer to attack into. So, I don't know. Actually, I mean, I thought Nesty had this, but. You know, he did a great job breaking through that push, but yeah. I'm MVP at this point. You know, doesn't have a third base yet, just started his third command center. Well, that Thor in the mix messes stuff up too. Yeah, those mutas aren't going to be nearly as effective. Can't climb around in a clump. All right, let's see what happens. Well, here come the Banelings. There go the Banelings. <laughs> And Nesty losing too much, man. I think he's going to lose this. Banelings hitting a Thor. Uh oh. That's that. That should actually be it. Yeah, he might, he might punch out GG. now. GG. I think. Wow. MVP, even in the hardest moments, can just bounce back. He can indeed taste his two-two upgrades. Really strong pushes. Uh, really, Nesty did a brilliant job there. So few mistakes to what he did. Uh, man. Amazing, amazing play. Talk about staying on two base for a long time and making it work. Yeah. But it looks like uh, Nesty doesn't want to give up yet. You know, he does have these other two bases, so he's still got a similar economy to I'm MVP. True. Because the army I'm MVP has right now is just so fearsome. So many siege tanks. The Zerglings and Banelings are going to have a very hard time getting to those Marines. The um, only way Nesty could win would, would be to just hold out and prevent Terran from getting a third base. But now he's losing so many overlords. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious, Tasis. Oh, my heavens to Betsy. Great Banelings of Fire. <laughs> uh, MVP's got a third. Yeah, that's... Uh, the, uh, I was going to say the beginning of the end, but the end of the end is a more accurate way to describe yeah. that situation. Well, that... Uh, this is over. I think Nesty is basically digesting his loss. Yep, taking out what he can. GG. All right. Nesty actually playing a brilliant game there, but
So did MVP. Very yeah. strong, very methodical, despite being behind early economically. Just continued with his strategy. Got superior upgrades. Got superior positioning uh, with that army at the low ground. And uh, yeah, that kind of just made it work out, basis. Um, you know, though, Nesty could have tried a few things different, you know, building tech in different places. Instead of erasing that army, he had so many Banelings and Zerglings. There were some other things he could have done. You know, if he had somehow brought all those units around instead of engaging when it hit into his main base, yeah. he could have perhaps done a base trading race. And in that case, Nesty has those two additional bases. I'm MVP would have had a win with what he had at the time. So I'm feeling that probably, in hindsight, would have been the best thing Nesty, for Nesty to do. But that's like an impossible decision to make in the game. You know, it seemed like, in the, I think he had... Nest did had the same reaction that you and I did when he started to win that battle, where he's like, I got it. All right, let's go back to his home, kill off the reinforcements while I take a fifth, fifth base. But actually, uh, I think it was as surprised as we were when he was like, oh, he actually had more stuff there than I expected. And, um, yeah, he had. It, it was a moment where we saw the game turn around in like five seconds. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, like, he, oh, that's he's gonna he win. All of a sudden, it's like he's gonna for lose for so long for that one, one huge battle. And even though he won the battle, uh, you know, he just he spent too many banes. He lost, lost the all war. His gas. Yeah, <laughs> I had to say that. <laughs> that I don't terrible. get many, many, many chances to do that. Okay, so we're gonna take a break. Some of these pro gamers got to go to the potty. Some of these casters they need breaks. Some of our viewers, you guys, it's time to take a little break. What should they do, Artosis? They should, uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe go get a cup of tea. That's I think it's time to, like to, to go on the internet and look up some yoga positions. Yoga right. positions. Yeah, yoga is very good for you. I don't practice it, but I've read that on the internet, and everything I read on the internet is true, as long as it's good about me. So go practice some yoga positions. We'll be right back. Truth, but you can't always get your better hair.